Ooh, it's hot today, but it's not gonna stop us. Turn this AC down. Let's get this video rocking and rolling. We are finally past our thousand mile break in. So that means it is time to get an oil change, which means it is time to, yep, get ready, add some power to our 2022 Toyota Supra. But in today's video, we got uh, some goodies from Burger Performance. We're gonna head over to Toyota. I'm gonna let them actually do the oil change because I'm lazy. But like I said, we got some goodies from Burger Performance. We're gonna be working with them pretty closely over the next few videos, including power. But in today's video, we're gonna be spicing the exterior up just a little bit and give this Toyota Super a wider look, a meaner, aggressive stance. Let's go. Paint the canvas a little bit. Let's step out here and show you around the car just a little bit so you guys can get the idea of what we're gonna be doing. Get a little walk around before we go up to Toyota and we're gonna head back to the garage and then start tearing these wheels off of this because we have something special. So check it out. Today, we're gonna to be doing wheel spacers from Burger Performance. We're gonna be doing a 13 inch front and a 15 inch rear. These wheels are great looking, okay, from the factory. They're actually forged if you didn't know, so they're lightweight and strong. You know, and eventually we will do something a little bit more aggressive, but for the time being, I wanted a little bit of a wider stance. They are sitting very much inside of this fender. We're gonna to try to widen these up a little bit today, and I think it's gonna look really good. So but yeah, let me get a couple more shots of the car, just so we have a good comparison before and after and then we're gonna head to the dealership let them drain some oil we also have something special and spicy going into the engine bay today guys let's have some fun let's get into the video let's go <laughs> Here we go. So, all right, let's uh, do some unboxing here. So, some wheel spacers from Burger Motorsports. Guys, everything that you see here, go check them out in the video descriptions. I will have all the links to whatever you see here, so go check them out. Let them know that you saw this video. Let them know that you want a deal. Anyway, let's open it up, check it out. So, we got some wheel spacers, and this is pretty sick too. So, this is the 13 millimeter. I believe that these are gonna go in the front. And this is pretty sick because it is a hub centric spacer. They don't have like studs in here, like regular cars, because they offer you, this is sick. Okay, this is actually an alignment pin. That's pretty cool if you get the full kit, but they send you a bunch of these longer bolts. So this is really safe to run on the street and the track, as opposed to maybe some of the others out there. I know that everybody has their own feelings about spacers and everything, but I think this is a little bit more safer because you're actually passing through. So it's a hub centric spacer. So that means that it's sitting on the hub perfectly. It's not going to rock around and rotate with this, but with these guys, these lug nuts are going to pass through the wheel through the spacer into the hub itself and that's going to make sure everything is rock solid guys have been running stuff like this for years now and uh, i think that they've had nothing but success so we're going to give it a shot so i think we're doing 13 inch front and 15 inch rear i got to make sure that i'm doing that correctly so we got the right size on you know the front of the rear these guys have everything by the way like i said we're cross that thousand mile mark we now have fresh oil in this thing ready to turn up the boost and burger has sent us out a bunch of other goodies too so definitely subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you want to see go fast parts installed on a toyota supra you know what to do hit that sub button so check it out they also sent me one of these this is a pot if you've ever maybe not lifted up one of these toyota supras there are little spots on either side behind the wheel and in the rear as well. You can put a jack to jack it up, but it really looks like it needs some kind of an insert to do it safely. And they have these as well. So the way that this is gonna work, it's gonna sit right on the head of your jack. It's gonna fit up right inside of the little cup that's underneath the bottom of the car. And it's gonna raise it up safely. This is all one piece billet, Burger Motorsports. Yeah, these things are cheap and definitely recommend getting a set of these or at least one.
But yeah, that's pretty weird. Look at the dust shield. It's all kind of like bent and stuff. It's kind of like weird shaped and everything. Let me know in the comments, like, is this normal? I checked the other side too, before I took the wheel off. And it's actually the same way. This is, uh, <laughs> is this like damage done from the factory? Uh, this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, but it's just a lip. It's like, it goes that way and out. And then, yeah, and this kind of straight down here. Weird. All right, let's make sure that the center hub is nice and clean. These are hub centric, so they need to fit as tight as possible. This is pretty cool. So when you get the full kit, you get this right here. It's an alignment pin. Just kind of throw this in. It's gonna help align everything, including the wheel. When you actually slip the wheel back over, you can just leave this in and take it out at that time. But 13 millimeter in the front. Let's see, these are nice. So there are a lot of holes drilled. So I've seen in other videos where people talk about like why so many holes drilled. My guess would be weight savings, honestly. This is just gonna slip over just like that. And then you see there's a little rotation here, which is what the alignment pin is gonna be for. When you tighten these down, there will be no movement. But as far as the hub, I mean, there's nothing. I can't rock that back and forth. They also send you 10 of these guys right here. So longer studs, OEM versus the new one. These, when you slide the wheel over, is basically just going to thread just like that. And I think the torque specs on these are like 103 pound feet or something like that. That's probably what we'll do. And then rock and roll from there. The suspension is still raised since we just dropped it, but you can already tell a huge difference. Compared to the other side, sunken that is you see that gap check this much better All right, back in our spot, let's take a look. So before I spin the camera, I want dibs. I'm gonna get the first look. And wow, so dead even flush, pretty much front and rear. All right, let's spin the camera. All right, there we go in all her beauty. See the little tire poke right there? It's just about dead even. So I don't think that we're gonna have to be worrying about like rock chips, but take a look at the rear. So pretty much dead even there as well. Come around to this side. It's gonna look identical. Yeah, that looks freaking fire, dude. That looks money. All right, that's perfect. I like that. We back up here for that headshot. And let's go to the rear. All right, let's check it out. Yes. So rear. That looks freaking meaty, dude. All right, I'm a big fan. All right, cool. So we may swap these wheels out in the future, but for the time being, this is definitely going to suffice. I think that uh, I like them a lot better now, so I'm not going to be in such a hurry to change them out. So huge shout out to Burger Performance. Again, links in the video description. Go check them out. A job well done, success. Thousand miles are complete. We got that fresh oil and we have a wider stance. Now get ready for the next videos to come because more power is going to be coming to our Supra. Hey, also, we're still on stock suspension, so give it a little lock to lock just to make sure that we didn't have any rubbing and we are good to go. So I'm highly impressed.